Welcome! In this video we cover the anatomy of a roll card. In Hexplorit, each role is a class, or a profession if you will. It describes your hero's strengths, weaknesses, and defines the abilities you'll use throughout play. There are five types of roles indicated by a colored ribbon in the upper left corner of the roll card. Strikers, in red, excel at dealing large amounts of health damage. Sappers, in purple, excel at dealing large amounts of energy damage in order to shut down an opponent's effectiveness. Healers, in blue, excel at keeping the group alive. Assist, in green, enhance their allies' effectiveness. Utility, in brown, fill a unique gap and are generally a mix of the previous four types mentioned. Each role has nine stats, broken into two vitals, four abilities, and three skills. At the beginning of the game, you'll modify your base scores, shown here in brown, with your racial modifiers, recording each stat rank inside each hex. Throughout the game, your ranks will increase or decrease. Let's take a look at vitals. Health is how much damage your hero can take. If your health drops to zero, your hero dies. You consume energy when you use your masteries or racial ability. Enemies can damage your energy just as they can damage your health. You cannot use masteries or other special abilities if you don't have the energy required to activate them. Record your maximum vital rank inside your vital stat. As you suffer damage, reduce the number in the current section. That way you won't forget what your total rank is. It is possible for some effects to temporarily raise your current vitals above your total vitals. You may also have access to items or effects that grant a regen value. Recorded here to remind you to increase your vital by the regen amount. Let's take a look at abilities. This is your basic attack. It costs no energy to use and damages an opponent's vital score equal to the rank. Most rolls basic attack can only damage your opponent's health, but some can damage their energy or other vitals like influence. Vital icons show which type your roll can affect. In this example, the solipsist can damage an opponent's health or energy when using a basic attack. This is your basic defense. It costs no energy to use and reduces each incoming attack equal to the rank. You may also use an item when you defend. These are your masteries, special abilities unique to each role. They each require one or more energy to use, as indicated by the energy symbol next to their name. Some masteries are also usable outside of combat. Check out the video linked here for more information on masteries. Let's take a look at skills. Each role has three skills and a ten-sided die to match. They are used throughout the game in many different scenarios. Navigate, in green, is your hero's skill at finding their way and getting out of tight situations. Explore, in yellow, is your hero's skill of perception and awareness in combat. Survival, in blue, is your hero's skill at surviving in the wild and avoiding dangerous situations. Let's take a look at gear upgrades. Each stat is surrounded by a ring of numbers. These are gear upgrades and represent equipment that your hero carries. Each time your hero gains a gear upgrade, fill in the upgrade slot and increase your stat rank by 1. Starting with the topmost ring, move clockwise around the stat as you continue to gain new gear. Each Explorit volume allows the heroes to gain gear upgrades in a slightly different manner. When purchasing upgrades, heroes will spend the amount in gold indicated in each slot. Vital upgrades begin at a cost of 2 gold, skills at a cost of 3, and abilities at a cost of 4 gold. With each gear upgrade attained, the gold cost increases by 1. Heroes may only ever have up to 6 gear upgrades per stat unless otherwise stated. Moving on to other areas of the roll card, this is your food bar. It contains your food rating, food carried, and the starvation meter. Most heroes will consume food throughout the game. Each hero gains a food rating inherited by the race you've selected. Your food rating also determines the total amount of food and gold your hero may carry. Use this horizontal bar to increase or decrease the amount of food your hero carries. If your hero must consume food and you don't have any, you'll begin to starve. The starvation graphic shows the three levels of starvation. At level 1, your hero cannot use energy. At level 2, your hero cannot use energy or the survival skill. Finally, at level 3, your hero will die. This is your hero's backpack. It is used to record the various items your hero will find or purchase throughout the game. 
Gold is a currency and can be obtained in many ways throughout the game. Record your hero's gold here. Each hero may carry up to a total of 100 times their initial food rating in gold. A hero with an initial food rating of 0 may still carry 100 gold. Each hero gains favorite opponent against one of the many opponent types found in the game. This is inherited by the race you've selected. You'll record your favorite opponents here. Last but certainly not least, use the name section to name your hero and give them a little flavor. There are dozens of roles available in the Explore It universe and each one is entirely unique. Head over to our website to use our random hero generator if you're having trouble picking a role for your next game. This concludes our summary. Thanks for checking out the anatomy of a roll card.